Welcome back to your channel, my friends. We will continue to talk uh, about uh, the physical server from uh, the point we stopped. Before we continue, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now we will go back to see here what is called a riser card. This is very important terminology. This is a riser card, a riser card that's installed uh, inside the server. This allows us to, as you see it here, I unplug it. This is allows us to install more extra slots inside the server. The server may take more than one riser card. This is one, and here's a slot for another one. Now this server, I installed server, we installed only one riser card, but it uh, it has place for another riser card in case we want to add extra slot for example network cards for example fiber uh, cards now moving to the back of the server you will see here that the server has two power supplies maybe some servers will come with one power supply but it's not really recommended to have a single power supply uh, because we uh, want to have uh, two power sources to power the server uh, in case one of the power sources went off <clears throat> we don't want it to uh, turn off it will depend on the other uh, power supply also it has several network cards as you may see here and we may add extra network cards depending on uh, our uh, needs also you may see here that it has a VGA and a USB and USB ports in case we want to plug a the KVM with the uh, VGA and uh, the USB and also in case we want to plug a, a certain uh, flash memory or uh, something like that. Uh, uh, something very important about the server is what's called the intelligent port. As you may see here we have four uh, NIC interfaces here. Those are normal NICs that come with uh, for the Windows and this one this one is very important as you may see it down here it's called ILO ILO is for the HP it's an intelligent uh, network card in, in uh, the IBM they called IMM and in uh, the Dell server they called IDRAC uh, this intelligent port to work it requires a, a specific license uh, not always come with the servers when you read the specification of the servers it will tell you that if you have ILO uh, uh, license or if you don't have ILO server uh, ILO license uh, the usage of this ILO is uh, for administrators to access the server even if it's, it's turned off you can access through it as long as you have a power connected to the server as long as the server is connected this uh, interface this intelligent interface uh, will be uh, turning on and you may access it through it to the server you may turn it on uh, again you may uh, change the bios uh, as if you are connected to uh, the console to, to, to the server as if you are connected to the server as a console access uh, and I will show you the configuration for this uh, intelligent uh, uh, through this intelligent uh, port at the end of uh, the video. Now here I uh, turn on the server. Uh, it uh, will take some time to start to initialize and uh, check for uh, the memory and uh, processing and other stuff. Then it will give me an option to uh, enter to uh, setup i'll press f2 in order to enter system setup and then uh, the server will continue to uh, boot uh, as uh, you are uh, seeing here and uh, once uh, it's done uh, it will uh, start it will show us the uh, setup option as you may see here it's entering uh, the setup and now it's going to the configuration i can go to the idrac settings in order to uh, configure it uh, and uh, add the necessary uh, settings uh, that allow me to access uh, uh, from my computer uh, the network uh, I will. Uh, you can see here that there is a dedicated uh, a port for uh, the uh, iDRAC. As I told you uh, before, that uh, we may have an, we may not have a license for the iDRAC, but since we have license here, we have a dedicated port for it. 
uh, I can uh, enable disable uh, the settings and the most important thing is to set the uh, IP address uh, I'll set the IP address here and the gateway and of course I may set uh, the DNS I here I disabled the DHCP in order to set a manual IP and enter it from my computer. As you may see here, now I can uh, see from my workstation, I can see the uh, console of the uh, server uh, as if I uh, connected a, a VGA and a keyboard and a mouse. It's uh, running normally. I can see all the uh, everything that is going on uh, I, also I may control uh, the uh, system and I may go if you see the configuration here I can turn off uh, the system power it off I can power it on I can uh, do anything as if I am in the server room near the server itself uh, okay, my friends, now this will be all about uh, the physical servers. Uh, please don't hesitate to ask any question. And uh, uh, I'm waiting for your comments, my friends. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.